we just got ourselves the Cyclops live stream last week, showing us our first look at the first world boss that you will encounter within the Riverlands. And now that hype is slowed, leaving people to wonder what is June gonna bring for Ashes of Creation? We know it's not an Alpha 2 announcement, unfortunately, because that won't happen till probably the end of the year. So what could Intrepid possibly show us next? Well, we have a few options here. It could be the Rogue. As we all expect, the Rogue will be coming as the next class showcase after the Mage. Due to the fact that the Bard and the Summoner will probably take a lot more effort to get done and to be polished in a state that Intrepid is willing to show. And and other than those two in the Rogue, that's it. There's no more primary archetypes. We have seen them all. We could see a more in-depth fighter one, but I don't think we're going to get that. We've already seen the fighter. We've seen the fighter working. And I think Intrepid wants to do more polish on that guy because he wasn't even in the showcase. But I have a feeling the Rogue will be the July stream and not the June stream. And Intrepid has been teasing us what is coming next all along. If you've noticed in the past, Intrepid tends to show us in-game models and concept art for the things that are pretty close to being shown. And as they show them, they tend to build up to the big reveals involving these things. Like before the Cleric stream, we were seeing a bunch of zombies and concept art models for these guys, and then they show up in the Cleric stream. Before the Carven stream, we saw lots of Carven weapons, we saw the boss in the Carven zone, and we saw some concept art, all of which was tied into the Tower of Carven. The Cyclops stream led up with the boss himself, and a more recent stream showed us some of the weapons based off this guy. And with that in mind, the last two streams, what have we been seeing? Livestock and fish that will be surrounding the artisan system. Margaret even said that they have been implementing a lot of crafting stuff into the game lately. And if you look back into the February livestream, when we got a glimpse of the UI update, they showed us the crafting UI for the blacksmith and even stated that crafting was already implemented into the game. And based off what we are seeing now, while it was implemented, probably not all the creatures and tools there to be utilized yet were implemented in the game, at least with their actual models. There could have been some floating white blocks in there or something that Intrepid's working with for now, but all this would need more testing before it's ready to showcase. And now, leading into the summer, Intrepid could be getting ready for that massive crafting reveal to carry the hype forward through the next few months. Ashes of Creation's artisan system will be very in-depth and something that I imagine we will not see fully at the start of Alpha. Alpha 2, as there are a ton of pieces to it. With all of the different professions through the mastery trees, with crafting, gathering, and refining, including the ones for siege weapons and naval content and all of that stuff, it's a massive system and I imagine it's going to take a lot of manpower to get done. We also know that Intrepid is planning to make crafting a bit more interactive in a way, allowing for players to partake in mini game like systems to make them feel like they are actually building the weapons and armor they're crafting, which was teased a little bit in the UI where they showed a manual craft button and a fast craft button. While I imagine the manual craft button is that mini game like crafting that would potentially have some sort of perks that go with it to make people want to use that over the fast craft, which I feel like would just be slamming the items together and getting them done without the mini game and just be like a regular MMO crafting. And with this, I am willing to bet that the next live stream, if not the one after, being the July one, will revolve around crafting and artisan systems in some way. And whichever one is not crafting would potentially probably be the rogue class as we continue to go through the remaining archetypes. But if we are seeing more livestock and fish in the art, then maybe we aren't about to see the whole artisan system, but perhaps a more specific, highly anticipated system, such as the animal husbandry system, which allows players to breed various animals and pets within the game to unlock cool rewards, including mounts and pets. There is also the possibility that we'll be seeing updates to the freehold system, as livestock will play a big role in that as well. But with Maggie specifically calling out crafting for the fish, it makes it feel less likely to that, and probably more likely for the overhaul of the crafting system. But it would be pretty cool to see crafting on the freehold as these two systems will intertwine quite a bit. We haven't seen a true freehold update since pre-Alpha 1 where we got a short trailer and no actual gameplay of the system. It was not present in Alpha 1 at all, so it would be pretty cool to see Intrepid bring this thing back with a more updated look. And with absolute no evidence to support this next thing, I've said this a hundred times now, but it is time to move away from the Riverlands. I want to see something that is not the Riverlands. I want to see more of the world of Vera and not just this one zone that we've been in for more than a year now. Some people like being trapped here as it leaves some Alpha 2 surprise, but I'm ready for a glimpse of something new when it comes to the biomes. If you made it this far into the video, well then I assume you're enjoying this content, so maybe you should hit that subscribe button and click that thumbs up to help the channel out and be aware of 
of all of the content coming as we head towards Alpha 2. Otherwise, comment down below what you think we'll be seeing in the June live stream. If you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump into the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. And otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.